Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about Sidebar API from Web Extensions API Suite. Sidebar API helps us to create our own side panel just like bookmarks panel, history panel in the browser. In this video, we will be learning how to create a side panel and put some HTML content, some JavaScript contents and let's do it. So before jumping into it, um, so let's see what exactly Sidebar is. So this is a thing which uh, gives us all the available sidebars. For example, this is a bookmark sidebar. So it has all the bookmarks. We can um, switch to history bookmark. So these are the side panels which we will be going to build this session. So let's get started. So first we need to create a folder. Let's create sidebar folder. And then let's create our first file which is always manifest dot json let's save it into our folder let's quickly populate our manifest json so first thing is manifest version always follow this order just in case i don't forget any important thing so this is name let's put sidebar demo third thing is description Mm, let's do to display a panel that contains my stuff. Next thing is version of my add-on. I prefer to start 1.0 and then I'll give some icons. So as I'm a bit lazy, so I'll just go with one icon, but you can give different dimensions icon here. For example, 32 uh, pixel, 128 pixel, 96 pixel, depending on your requirement. And next thing what we need to do is, these are the generic things which we do for all the add-ons. So next, next thing what we need to do is, add the sidebar action. So this is the key for adding sidebar action. And it requires few more properties such as default action, default title. So let's say name it my pen. So this will be the basically tooltip and wherever it reflects our sidebar. So default panel, def default title, default icon. And for just for this example, I'll include the same icon, but you can do different icons as per your requirement and then the most important thing is default panel so default panel expects you the path of the first HTML file which you want to include in your panel so let's say index.html so that's uh, pretty much our manifest for JSON for this example so I'll quickly walk through so these are the generic which we always use. First one is manifest version, which tells it's a web extension uh, API usage. Second thing is add-on name. Third thing is add-on description. Fourth thing is add-on add version. It has to be incremental for the updates. And then it's icons, the icons for the add-on, which will be reflecting in listings. And then for this usage of sidebar, we have to put sidebar action, which comes with default title, default icon, and default panel. Default panel expects you the path of index, uh, path of the HTML, which you will be trying to execute first in your panel. So um, it's a relative path. So if we are not giving anything before it, that means it's on the root. So let's quickly create an index.html. So let's save it in our sidebar folder. Cool. So let's create small HTML just to show you exactly what is requirement for this site. So in we create a HTML, we have a body and we'll have a h1 tag which will say this is my panel. Okay, that was quick. So what if I say like 
this is the only code that will create a side panel for you and your code will be replaced in that panel so let's test this so i'll quickly type about dot debugging this is the url which we need to open for testing our add-ons locally so load temporary add-on then on sidebar let's go to manifest.json boom there you go there's your panel my panel the title and okay we don't have icon because <laughs> we didn't put any icon in it so it's expecting us to put an icon so let's create a folder icons let's just quickly copy this icon into it cool. and going back to our add-on let's reload it okay it's still not showing the icon probably cache so we'll again load the icon on. oh this time we have this is the icon of our panel and this is our panel so yeah that was pretty quick this is the icon which is reflecting when we set default when we set the default icon here this is the icon which will be reflecting in the list so we are on suppose any side um, we can shuffle between let's say um, history we are seeing history panel then we can go to our our panel so yeah that was pretty much so um since you are pretty quick we'll be putting some javascript into that so let's quickly create a new javascript file let's say sidebar.js okay we have to save it sidebar.js and as we know we need to include this in our index.html so let's quickly include it script is as it's relative path again so we can just write sidebar.js so like any um like any html web page it works same way we have to include the script and for sake of example let's have a text area here and let's give it an id um, let's say my text and we'll put some style in it i'm putting in line style because it's just an example else i would always go for style sheet or maybe style tag at least and then i'll put a button and i'll give it id my button So we have a structure, we have a text area, we have a button. Let's see it on our panel. So yeah, this is our button. So right now it's not doing nothing because we didn't put any JavaScript. So all I want is whatever I write here on click me, it should alert me. So let's do this. Let's go to sidebar.js. Let's write document dot get element by ID. Our ID is my button dot add event listener so we will be using click event listener listen the click and perform my function and in function i want to let's store our requirement let's say my text equal to document dot get element by id and our id for text area is my text dot value and alert my text that's it so let's read on it cool let's see yay cool there you go so we have an html here and we have a javascript running on this panel and it's executing the way we want whenever we click this button it takes the value of this text area and alerts it so that's a wrap this is all everything for um, sidebar api thank you bye bye take care